All right, this is the electronic parking brake, EPB, otherwise known as uh, that electrical thing in the dash right there on the center console. For those of you who want to do your own brake work, and especially on the rear brakes, uh, 2015 plus has that electronic parking brake, and you've got to know how to do it before you jump in there and start working on that uh, parking brake system in the center console you'll see that button. So follow these instructions to the T and you won't get hurt, you won't damage anything, and you'll be able to tear the brakes apart and repair them, replace them, or whatever you need to do. But the electronic parking brake service mode activation and deactivation activation. Yeah, that's how they titled it, so I can't go over there. But basically service actions on vehicles equipped with electronic parking brakes may cause unexpected parking brake applications which could result in an injury to hands or fingers. So put the parking brake system into service mode prior to servicing or removing rear brake components. Failure to follow this instruction may result in serious personal injury. Yeah, fingers. That's right. We don't want to have fingers lopped off because we weren't paying attention. The EPB, as they call it, service mode is also known as EPB maintenance mode, if you're trying to look that up. And you might have maybe a code reader or, or bi-directional reader. You might be able to utilize this on this aspect. A other note is to carry out the following uh, service mode activation procedure to deactivate the EPB system. Number one, set the ignition to the on position. Do not start your car. Put it to the on position. And then press and hold the accelerator pedal uh, and place the EPB switch to the release downward motion. Continue to hold the accelerator pedal and EPB. There you go. Continue holding it. Then set the ignition to off, then set the ignition on within five seconds. So off, on. That's what you got to do, right? Off, on real quick. Continue to hold the accelerator pedal and EPB switch at the same time. Boy, we got both our feet and our hands going at the same time to get this done. Note, the EPB system will be deactivated, preventing parking brake application until service has been completed and service maintenance mode has been deactivated. The yellow EPB indicator will be elimin ah, illuminated. They're a big word for you. And maintenance mode will display on the message center, right there on the dash. Message mode it will be in maintenance mode. When replacing the rear brake pads in the service maintenance mode, the brake caliper piston must be compressed into the caliper housing. The brake caliper piston does not have to be rotated while compressing the piston. Something new there. Set the ignition to off, then release the accelerator pedal and EPB switch deactivation. Other note, carry out the following service mode deactivation procedure to activate the EPB system. Here's how you do it. Set the ignition to on. That's right, on. Press and hold accelerator pedal and place the EPB switch in the apply or upward position and continue to hold. So foot on the gas, finger on the EPB, holding it up. Continue to hold the accelerator pedal and the EPB switch. Number three, set the ignition to off. Yeah, you're going to need more hands, right? Then set the ignition to on within five seconds. Continue to hold the accelerator pedal and EPB switch. So I'm going to tell you, you you got your foot on the gas, and then you got one hand on there, and you're going to have to reach over. Oh, no, you're going to have to do this thing. You know, you're, you're going to need three limbs to do this, folks. That's right, three. So uh, just keep that in mind. Think about it for a second. The switch is down here. You got your foot on the gas, and now they're telling you to turn the ignition on and off. What are you going to do? Holy cow. So once you get done with that, continue to hold the pedal and everything. And note the EPB system will fully apply and release the parking brake to guarantee sufficient air gap between the rear brake pads and brake disc. Then release the accelerator pedal and the EPB switch. Hope you got all that. It seems complicated, 
but it's not that hard. Basically what they're telling you is put your foot on the gas, hold the switch up, and then you just reach around, turn the key on, off, and then follow the directions. It's, it's pretty simple. I will put these directions at the end of this video so you guys can read them and understand what's going on and uh, that way it won't be so difficult so you will have that ready to go and uh, you know basically you can change your brakes then so yeah you know doing it's a little more complicated but what the heck hey you got them changed that's all it counts so remember like subscribe to this YouTube channel and also join up with Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook can't stress that enough folks help this group grow we are almost $5,000 as of this date in October 2019. So, hey, it, three years running and we're, we're getting up to five grand. So, uh, it's definitely the biggest and best group you're ever going to find on Ford Edge and Lincoln MKX and Facebook. Uh, keep everything simple and everything else there in that group. Also, uh, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day too. Band of One's got some great music and Mercy Grill's got a couple one-liners for you.